Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to episode two of the Solo Barbarian Adventure. Just gonna show off the gear really quickly. Also, just want to show we're buying some gloves and a couple healing items here, a couple potions, and a bandage. After that, we were we're just sitting above, uh, just above 200 gold. Now a little bit less, but we need those healing items. I think we'll put them to good use. Uh, let's go around here and check and see if anybody's geared. Just still trying to build up the bankroll. Alright, we see our first victim. Let's take a look at what he's got. Ooh, do wheel fighter build, nice. I feel like that's pretty good. I mean, you get your mobile. Plus, um, do a little bit more damage. I don't know, I think it's still five extra damage on hit. Maybe I have that wrong, but... I'll have to jump in here. All right, this is a pretty good spawn. Spawn next to quite a few players. Um, if you know all the spawns around here. Uh, let's just, ooh, plus one all. Yep, we're gonna keep those. Other than that, just kind of loot up. I like actually carrying uh, one of those lanterns, just in case you run into a rogue. Because usually they'll, you know, turn off the lights, and you have to look for traps. But I want to take out this archer first. You just knock down the door with that arrow, and just kind of dodge and weaving around this. Oh, thought he was going to die there. Guess the hatchet doesn't really do that too much damage. I heard a door open somewhere around me, but just kind of stay vigilant and loot up. I have to be like pixel perfect with some of these. Uh, let's see what we got. Probably going to drop some of this. A little bit of an upgrade there. And... I'm going to keep the rest for now. Except the yeah, those gloves don't. Don't do anything. I think I might be in the room right next to me, though. Spoke. No, that's not good. Debuff duration. Not good. Does have a little bit more movement speed, though. Might take those, yeah. That's why I like running crush. Get knocked out of doors. Take a look. Oh, he's down here. This guy's fighting the Skeletal Champion. He is! Well, he's got the aggro. Let's move in. The hatchet. I like running the hatchet for this kind of fights. Oh, we just took a hit by the Skeleton Archer, or Skeleton Champion. Oh yeah, this is not good. This is not good. We gotta get out of here. Let's heal up. Bait out an attack. And... No, I mean to take that one. That's not good. Honestly, I'm thinking about moving to the room from him, because there's the centipede and the healing shrine, because right now we just need to heal up. Hope you got him low. Yep, nice he did. Let's loot him up here. Pavis. I don't know if they're even worth picking up. They take up so many slots, and I don't really know how much they sell for, so I'm just going to leave that. Default kit. I, that was pretty bold of this guy to try to try anything with that. I mean, like, you're not next to stairs or, like, any elevation, like, so you can't cheese the skeletal champion. And you only have daggers, so you're gonna be right up in his face? That doesn't seem super smart. Okay, here's somebody running around. I really just need to get to that hell shrine. Centipede's not taken yet. Maybe I can just... Oh, grab that. I can just run around him and grab it. Or... Okay, it looks like he's stuck. Yeah, maybe getting behind it. Like, even if I take a couple poison hits, it's still better to be at 80% health than, like, the 40% that I'm at right now. Hopefully he doesn't spit at me. Okay, right at the end. Oh, nice little dodge there. And, of course, you get hit right after I take it. Back. All good. Won't do too much damage to me. Yeah. It's pretty hard to, to do because you want to be far enough back so you actually 
hit with the sweet spot of this axe, but I'm gonna spit on you and hit you. Hey, we're still more have more health than we did before, so all right, that didn't take as long as I thought. Died pretty quick there. I gotta need to drop some of this stuff, getting kinda of full. Doing traps and invis potion. I'll take the invis potion just because sometimes you can catch people off guard with that. Especially like they don't expect barbarians to be invis. They always expect rogue, so catch a lot of people off guard with those. Nothing trap, I'm not even gonna take it. I don't even I don't know, maybe if you stack enough of them you can sell them on the market, but it just doesn't seem worth it. Another reason to have a hatchet or a smaller weapon so you can break things a lot easier. Blue pot is nice to have though. Yeah. To be honest, I picked that up because I don't really know what that is. I don't know if like it gives like agility or something. It's just it's not though, so. Just leave it on the ground. Now let's make our way back into the circle. Ooh, okay, there's another upgrade. Where is it? Spell capacity? No. I think I'm gonna keep the movement speed. Yeah. Another cap. That might be worth wearing just because it's gonna be less of a movement speed penalty. Where is it? Uh, magic pen? Nope. Give like. Anything useful, I'll probably I might have put it on. I think this guy's right out here. This is what I'm talking about. Being a little cheeky with these invis potions. I feel like he's right here, but actually, now that I just thought of it, now that he's breaking pots, I don't think I don't think there's any potions right here. So yeah, let's just. I think he's coming over here. Let's just keep on looting. It's not that you could pick up that gold piece. Hopefully we're running to that guy. I'm, I'm looking for some PvP fights. We need some upgrades. Yeah, and I think I just heard a barbarian to my left here. I don't know where though. Probably, maybe they're both up top. And break this down though. We're gonna aggro some of these skellies. It's fine. Just need to take them out somewhat quickly. I have pretty good reach on this thing. This, thing, this guy has a double swing, which is pretty annoying. Though. Take a look. Action speed. I don't think anybody's going to buy that. I don't think that helmet's very popular anyways. Even when you do have good rolls on it. Something right there. Yep. Grab that. I should look to make my way up. Even if I have to take a little bit of zone damage. I'm already a little bit low. So I'm gonna have to. Build okay, somebody just took default. So that was probably the barbarian that we heard to our left. Kind of want to break other spots just to get a little bit more loot, but since it's in the zone and I don't really have too many healing items and a skeleton. Oh, I thought it was gonna come all the way over here. <laughs> I guess they have a range. Maybe they just go back. Yeah, maybe there's like. I'm hoping there's only like one other person in here, and now. I don't know. Oh, but there's a there's a dead guy right here, so we're gonna loot up him. And I feel like I, I hear somebody pretty close now. But this guy's like right here. And honestly, I'm but I, about to have to move. Just heal up really quickly. I might pop this blue potion if he's close still. Just take a look. Yeah, he's over there. Okay, there was a barb, actually. Oh, they're fighting. Okay, so let's get a little sneaky. Just watch. They don't see me yet, I don't think. They can fight it out. Oh, barbarian just got hit by a crossbow. I'm gonna jump in right when they're low. I think... Yep. Okay, this guy looks like he's gonna come up for this portal, so this is my time to, to strike here while he's not expecting it. It's 
Take a look. Ooh, he's got a little ring. Take that. Another axe. Just for later. And the bardish. The throwing axes. I'm just gonna open up this portal. This guy's below me. He has to come. Well, pretty much has to come up. Same way the barm just did to get to this portal. I'll take a look for him. I don't know where he went. I think there's a fighter though. Oh, is that him dead right there? He got killed by the goblin warrior. <laughs> so sad. Oh, very sad, but very happy for me. This is the fighter I think we we saw in the in the lobby. All right, this guy's got a lot of loot. We gotta we gotta kind of lit up fast here. Wishing I brought a coin coin purse in. Drop that hat. I think we have some of the best loot, but let's just grab everything that we can. And I think we got everything. Yeah, we got everything in. We got our portal up there, so let's head out. Say, so yeah, I kind of want to open that one up for a little bit more experience, but I think it's down below and probably not worth it. Yeah, I think I just saw it down there. Alrighty. Let's jump out. That's a pretty good run. Full inventory. Building up the loot. Getting some more gold. Let's take a look. Sell it to the collector. I got quite a bit of gold just from... Um, you know, ground drops and stuff and from other players, so... Let's see what our total is, so... 150, uh, yeah, 151, and then 368 total. So we are building it up. We've got a couple of other things to sell. Those plus one all wizard shoes, and then I think the hand crossbow should sell too. A couple more rings. Um, some of them might not be great for me, but we can maybe sell them <laughs> later on. I'm definitely going to keep the quickness, and uh, this one doesn't help me at all, so we'll just take it off. I don't know if anybody would buy that, but hope you guys enjoyed. Just going to show off the gear one more time. And we will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.